Welcome back, all you sports and gambling fans out there. Today, we have some MLB betting coverage for you. And joining me here, Joe Gavazzi, our SBR contributor. Now, the game we're looking at is the Toronto Blue Jays going up against the New York Yankees. How you doing, Joe? Pleasure to have you here today. Very well, Dax, and certainly looking forward to this Major League Baseball analysis and the playing of this game tonight, as should you too, my friends. No doubt, no doubt. All right, now the series is tied 1-1. One to one. Toronto took the first one 6-1, to one, and New York following game 4-3. to three. Now, Toronto will be uh, giving the nod to hurler Daniel Norris, who was 12-2 with a 2.53 ERA in three minor league stops last season before getting promoted to the bigs in September. And with the season-ending injury um, to Marcus Stroman, that opened up a rotation spot this spring that Norris actually seized and took advantage of, um, showing a solid 4-0 um, four, uh, four and 2.93 ERA in, and 30 strikeouts in 27 and two-third innings. But what else can you tell us about this Toronto team, Joe? Well, this is the Toronto team that's on the rise if you look at their records in the last three years. They're a big hitting team, there's no doubt about that. They have a couple of aging starters at the top of rotation in their own right, Dickey and Burley. But the big news here is the young arms for the Blue Jays, and no arm is more impressive than Daniel Norris, who gets to start in this third game this evening. They have heard a little bit about Norris. He got the $2 million signing bonus, and yet he still opts to live in his 1978 Volkswagen van, oftentimes doing his video work for games in that van with a flashlight on his head, a unique character, to say the least. You pointed out his strong records, both in the minors last year and in spring training, a solid reason to back him in this spot. All right, now, as for the Yankees, they're going to be calling up on CC Sabathia, who will return to the bump as he hasn't pitched in the regular season since May 10th, 2014, when a knee issue wiped away the rest of the year and ended his streak of seven straight 200-inning seasons. But I guess we have to see uh, what he can do now in the regular season, considering that um, he didn't engender much confidence this spring by going 0-3 with an 8.10 ERA in the Grapefruit League outings. So with all that in mind, uh, Joe, what do you expect to see from this franchise? I'm not looking forward to much from the Yankees this year. If you look at their last three years, it's gone in a straight line downward, beginning with 94 wins, and they'll be lucky to be a winning team this year. Clearly, they'll miss the leadership in the clubhouse of Derek Jeter, and of course, A-Rod could explode at any time. Their strong veteran bats will have a hard time getting through 162 game season, and the top of their rotation is injury-plagued as well. None more so than C.C. Sabathia, who for a seven-year span from 2006 forward recorded incredible numbers, 200-plus innings, ERAs under four, strong strikeout to walk ratios, and whips all of 1.23 or less. Not the same was true the last two seasons. 2013, a very rocky season for Sabathia, barely squeaking over 500 with a win-loss mark and an ERA soaring over four. Last year, in only eight innings before the knee injury shelved him, it got even worse with an ERA of over five. Clearly, this is a hurler that's on the decline, and we love to fade aging hurlers in the early season on their decline. His showing in the Grapefruit League, as pointed out, was not nearly what we were used to from CC Sabathia, and I don't expect it to be much better tonight. All right, so it looks like a good spot to back Toronto, considering that they're favored on the money line by minus 115 to minus 125, with a total of seven runs. Uh, should we just uh, lay, the, lay the money line here, Joe, or are you going to recommend something else? We're going to recommend something else here. There has been a huge money line move on the Blue Jays in this game for just the reason we pointed out. But we can make some real money by taking advantage of the money line here, taking back about 40 cents, laying the one and a half runs, and with good reason. Toronto was the team with the least one-run decisions last year, and that extended a two-year stretch on the road, which has seen them win more than 80% of their road games by two or more runs. Yankees, just the same, except the opposite side of the coin. For two years, New York Yankee losses, 79% of New York Yankee losses on this field have come by two or more runs. This is an ideal spot to turn a small road favorite into a big road money line underdog winner. Take the Toronto Blue Jays and do so on the money line, getting back a whopping 40 cents. 
All right, great stuff here, Joe. Thank you very much for all the insights and the pick here. And I uh, guess we'll talk some more uh, baseball again tomorrow, man. My pleasure, Dax. We'll look forward to it. Talk to you then. Good luck to you guys. All right, thank you very much. Everyone else, don't forget to check back with us tomorrow for some more sports coverage and your free picks. Till then, for SBR Picks, this is Dax Floyd. <laughs>